Hi, Moa. We're back. I have regained as much sanity as I could possibly regain after watching Sugar Rush Ride, but enough to listen to this album reaction. We are doing the name chapter, Temptation. We've got four songs we're going to do. The first one we are doing is Devil by the Window. I know it's got a longer name, um, but I cannot think of it at the moment because trying to memorize all that would be impossible. I don't know how they do it, but they do a flawless job at it. But that is their job. So... Um, honestly, when I first saw the track list, I thought Devil by the Window was going to be the title track. However, I think I heard that it is a tradition, um, to, for Tomorrow by Together, their second track is usually their title track on their album listing. So, um, pretty much Moas who have been here for a long time, um, knew Sugar Rush Ride was going to be the title track or had an idea that Sugar Rush Ride was going to be the title track. Um, but excited to get into Devil by the Window. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into our first track. I, I don't I don't even know why that did something to me, but that oh what you doing the way Yonjun said that, who, who, do it again. <laughs> Is this entirely in English? Yeah, the way to, it's way too sweet to turn down from Bom Gyu was absolutely stunning. I want to hear it again. The turn down was beautiful. Oh, this is good. It's like grimy. I don't know what it is. I don't know if Yeon Chun's voice is just made for a song like this, but he's eating this song up. This deep bass in the background. Oh, this is good. Ooh. Yeah, I'm never gonna need to see Yeonjun sing this song live, ever. Oh, this chorus is bouncy. We're getting to a bread soon. This is this is a completely different song. Oh. 
Oh, shooting Kai. Wait, time out. Time out. I know we're about to like snap out of whatever we were just in, but that's really cool. They changed that bridge up so much. It almost didn't even feel like a bridge. Um, but it's it changed so much. You can like feel yourself stepping into the story they're trying to portray with the rest of the song because it was uh, hypnotizing. It was like you were in a trance. Like you can, you can literally like, if I lay down and put this on, especially this section, I could feel my body drifting into the sky. Oh, that was cool. Given the the so that that section must be an outro, of some sort. I like that. I thought it was gonna cut back into the song, and it didn't. Um, basically, when you like drift off into the sky and dream on, dream on, it, it it's it's putting you in a trance, but then you like leave, and that's it. You don't snap out of it. You don't get back into the song. You just that's it. That's really cool. I really, really like this. This entire thing was in English, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, but I feel like I'm just, I'm just putting this out there. I'm not like just, just, but I feel like under the influence, the end of the song would be wild, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so, but like, y'all, this was so good. I literally never, ever, 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 ever in my life needed to hear Choyeon Jun sing this song live. Ever. Never. If if it happens, if they play, if they go to, if they sing it on tour, which I'm sure they will, um, given the type of song it is, I will literally have to leave the arena, the, the or theater, the wherever they're going to be, I will literally have to get up and leave. Otherwise, my soul will levitate drift into the next dimension and never come back. I will never get to hear another Tomorrow by Together song ever again. If I heard Yeonjun sing this song live, he he was the star for me on this song. His voice fit it so well. So, so well. So the next song we have is Happy Fools. Now this is a collaboration with Coil Ray. Um, I know she does a lot of more heavy hip hop, R&B style. Which, if this is an R&B song, that'd be really, really cool. Because I've always said 20 centimeters needed a sister. So, we will see. Um, but I'm excited for this collaboration. It'll be a different sound we've heard, we haven't heard from them. So, But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into Happy Fools. Oh, okay. It's like a, a jazz bar feel. Okay, whoa, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. That is such a different, that is such an interesting cut. One, I love like, okay, so the sound you hear at the beginning, it's, uh, we called them sweepers or some, it's like a metal sweep um, that basically looks like a small, tiny broom type thing, but it's it's got metal bristles um, and you swipe it on a snare drum to give it that sound but it's used a lot in jazz pieces. Um, but that's what this, this the the beginning of this, it felt like a, a, if you've ever been to like a jazz or piano bar, you would hear songs like this. Um, like when, if you go to eat at a nice restaurant, you would, and they have live music in the background, this is like stuff you would hear. And this is very different. Oh, 
I'm interested to see how her voice is going to play out on this song. Oh. This is just like a really nice, happy, upbeat song. There were some really nice background vocals and ad libs there at the end, which were really, really good. Um, yeah, I'm so interested from that intro. That intro had literally nothing to do with the rest of the song. Um, but I thought it set up the song really nicely. Like, it didn't feel so out of place that I was like, y you, the song didn't benefit at all from it, if that makes sense. Like, I think having the jazz feel at the beginning um, tossed it into the rest of the song nicely. Uh, but I liked I liked her part on this. I like Coyle Ray's part on this uh, track. I thought the lyricism was really, really clever, given the, like, shout out to being on Korean time coming from L.A. Um, or Cali. Uh, so I thought this was a really nice collaboration between the two. Um, and I hope one day they will get to perform it together at some point. Um, but this was, it was just like a really nice, happy, upbeat song, uh, like the name Happy Fools. Next one we have is Tinnitus. So this one I have heard the most about, not necessarily by how it sounds, but there have been a thousand, literally thousands of edits to this song on my timeline. And I've had to avoid every single one of them in order to not hear anything about this song. Um, but honestly, with tinnitus, it's like, actual tinnitus is like a ringing sound. And it's, oh God, it's so annoying. Um, like, honestly, I, I for anybody who ha truly has like tinnitus, I feel so bad for them because it's just like, I, I get ringing in my ear ever so often, but I, like, I can't even imagine. So I'm interested to see like, if this song, plays off of that and has some really like high-pitched ringing sounds in the instrumental or anything or if it's just like name of the track and move on so with that being said let's go ahead and get into tinnitus oh Okay, so they are playing on to, like, the buzzing, ringing sound of actual, like, tinnitus. But this beginning, um, if I had to pick, I'm gonna say it sounds like a marimba. Um, a marimba is just, like, a large wooden keyboard instrument. Um, but it's got that sound to it. But I, I love this. I, I love the beginning of this a, a whole lot. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. Just like an isolated marimba, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like as a percussionist, 
That was one of my favorite things to play. I feel like this chorus is gonna be really good. Okay, this instrumental, I like, I am so unbelievably fixated on this instrumental because I, I love it. I love the like Caribbean sound of it. Um, there's a, w along with the marimba sound, there is, I think it's a castanet, if anybody knows what that is. They, they're like two little, uh, it's, a, it's a percussion instrument and to describe it, it's almost like two little like shells that you hit together um but usually like there's there's on they're like mounted on something so you just kind of have to tap it but that that's all I hear in this song and I'm just so fixated on it and you can even hear like the material of the castanet. If that's what it is. But it's in the, whatever it is, it's in the same instrument family as that. This is such an interesting song. Wow. That's it? That's how the song ends? I figured they would have like a, a decrescendo where you could like you fade out until you just slightly hear the, so the instruments and then the... But like, usually when you decrescendo, you go from like a five, a four, a three, a two, a one, or like a, a forte to a mezzo forte, mezzo piano, piano, piano minissimo, like that. But it went from like a, a mezzo forte to nothing. Like it didn't do a full decrescendo. And so it was, it was really interesting. Like, let me, let me make sure that was the end of the song. This was so, this was so interesting. Yeah, it just, it, it's just like such a abrupt fade. Like technically it does fade out all the way, but like not in the, that was such a weird way to end the song. Okay, Tinnitus, love the instrumental, love the instrument. As a percussionist, if you put like a marimba and like d various percussion instruments on a song, especially when it's heavy, that, um, I'm gonna love it because that's what I, I I was percussionist for eleven years. That's my bread and butter. It just makes me very happy. But this oh, this song was so interesting. There were like 
I, there was like a nice groove to it. Um, and then like thinking about the lyrics now, uh, I'm just like, this song, this song is so, I want to hear this song again outside of reactions. Um, because like I said, I was so fixated on that instrumental. I didn't really get a chance to pay attention to the lyrics so much. Um, but the bits and pieces I did grab about them was like being like a rock. Um, but they did play on like actual tinnitus or like the buzzing and ringing. But how that song started, I was I was not expecting that. But like I was set and locked in from the get go because it plays two things I love so 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 much. Um, I'm interested to s- I I don't think I'll ever figure it out. Um, but to hear other people's uh, other people who played percussion opinions on this song, if anybody did. Um, to see what their take on what those instruments in the background is. I, if I had to guess, I'm going to assume it's a marimba because the, the, that kind of sound, you only get that, um, on a keyboard with a marimba because it's got the wooden keys, um, with things like vibraphones and xylophones, they're more, xylophones are more high pitched. It does have that wood, but it's got a different sound to it because the, um, pieces of wood are so much thinner. Um, then on a, like, thick, like, a marimba is a, a large instrument, like, extremely large instrument, um, but it's still, it's, it's still a keyboard, but it's not like, um, a glockenspiel where you're gonna have that, those metal keys, or, like, a vibraphone, which is, it's a, it's a deeper sound, but it's still got those, um, metal keys as well, uh, and then if I had to say, like, castanets, something along those lines, something of that material, it's almost got that, um, gah. I don't want to say ivory, but something in that family, that kind of material. It's not like plastic or anything. It's not like plastic or metal or whatever that you would find from other instruments. It's got a specific type of material that it is made out of, um, to get, create that sound. It's almost something like, um, claves are made out of some type of wood, um, to create certain sounds. Castanets are made out of a different type of material. Um, but it's something in that family, um, if I had to say, but this was so, this was so interesting. This was so different. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. Lastly, we have Farewell Neverland, which is our closer. It's a perfect closer given their concept trailer and everything having to do like the Peter Pan, um, aspects to it and, um, different details of that that it played into so farewell neverland would make a whole lot of sense plus their first teasers that they did for the temptation album definitely gave off like lost boys vibes so that's really been a big thing in their concept so far with the name chapter so with that being said let's go ahead and get into farewell neverland okay i like this guitar That Neverland, my love, felt very, very familiar. I already like, really like this song for a closer. That sounded a lot like Yeonjun. Oh, I love this section.
Yeah, no, if you know me, you know I am a Bomgu vocalist enthusiast. This section was stunning. Oh, that release is beautiful. This part seems so familiar. It's crazy. I'm a big fan of this song. I love this. Wow. I loved that. I I am a big, big fan of that. Oh. You know, there's been, it's been a while since an album has been, or since I've had an album and the closer has been my favorite, which is interesting given the fact that when I started doing reactions, to albums, literally almost every album, The Closer was my favorite, but it's been a couple of album reactions since The Closer has been my favorite, but ooh, this is a strong contender for my favorite on the um, album. Also really like Devil by the Window as well. That instrument, I need to go back and listen to that instrumental tonight before I make a decision on that one. Um, but I don't know. There was such a familiar feeling with farewell neverland that i like could not shake the entire time with the song especially the neverland my love part was uh I, like i just I, I felt like i kept thinking about something else during that part and i could not pinpoint what it was but i, I th th the vocals on this one were so good so so good um but i'm definitely gonna be thinking about this one or thinking about these um, for the rest of the day and then I think by the end of the day um, I guess later on today because it's um, almost one o'clock here um, I'll be able to decide which one was my favorite specifically so but this was a solid album cannot wait to see them promote these I think they're going to start promotions tomorrow on Inkigayo since they don't do music core um, but really just uh, that, that sugar rush ride oh sugar rush ride oh my god Anytime I think about it now, it's just crazy. That is quite the title track. I can't wait to show my sister because my sister's a baby Moa. Her bias is Subin and she was really looking forward to this. Um, but she's got like school and stuff. Um, so she's not awake to listen to this. But I will be very excited to show her Sugar Rush Ride tomorrow. So, but with that being said, be on the lookout for my next Tomorrow About Together reaction. We have choreography videos and everything. Excited for the promotional periods. Like I said, we have to get Taehyun that win on Inky Gaio. Because they, like, like it's his birthday. It's his birthday. They gotta have it. So, but really, really looking forward to all of that. With that being said, thank you guys for being love and support the channel. Love you guys. Love being a MOA because I always get fantastic music like this. Um, but really looking forward to everything to come for Tomorrow About Together. But I will see you guys next time. Bye, Moas.